All right, guys, so there's this myth in the food photography world, especially if you're a beginner, that you have to cook everything that you shoot. And truth be told, there's a lot of food photographers out there who, if they're not shooting with a big production crew, really don't care to cook their own food. That's not a prerequisite, just in case you were wondering. So today I'm gonna go over my top 20 no cook foods. Yes, 20, it's a huge list, but it's worth taking notes. If that sounds good to you, keep watching. Hi everyone, I'm Kiana Adams from The Key Ingredient. I'm a food photographer and educator, as well as a recipe developer. When I'm not creating content for myself, I am providing tips and tricks and all things photography based on my knowledge here on my channel. Number one, fresh produce. Fresh produce is everywhere. You pick it up, you bag it up, you bring it home, you set it up, and guess what? It's easy peasy. Or if you're out at a farmer's market, you can just take your iPhone or your DSLR, take some really cool close-ups and detail shots of food, fresh produce, no brainer, easy peasy. Number two, fresh flowers or floral arrangements. They're easy, they're beautiful, they need minimal work. You can set them up on a simple tablescape and be good to go. And guess what? No cooking, they already come prepared. All right, so number two, fresh flowers. Number three, fresh pasta. Fresh pasta and grains are a beautiful no cook food that you can bring home, lay it out, dust it with some flour, set it up and be good to go. If you don't wanna make your own, that's fine. They have beautiful, fresh looking and fresh prepared pastas, so Fresh pasta and grains, number three on my list. All right, number four, salads. Salads, salads, salads. You could just go on for days. You can make a whole portfolio just out of salads. The options are endless. So on your list of things to shoot that are no cook, add salads, it's no brainer. Number five, beverages. Beverages are my favorite thing to shoot, one of at least. They are one of the easiest things. You get a glass, you set it up, you think about your composition, but it's ready to go. And one beverage hack that I would give you is browning liquid or bitters. Bitters are great. And you can also use uh, water for if you're shooting a clear alcoholic beverage, water works. So beverages, number five. Number six, no bake desserts. That has to top your list. There is a whole list of no bake desserts that you can create, style beautifully, and add them to your portfolio. So, number six, no bake desserts. Number seven, I have to say it, you guys, store bought desserts. A lot of the professional top paid photographers are not cooking their own food. In fact, they have food stylists and chefs working with them on their photo shoots. So easy, simple, bring them home, unpackage them, lay them in your setup, dress them up with whatever garnishments, and you can get to shooting right away. Store-bought desserts, number seven. Number eight, and this is one that I really, really, really love. So. When soups become popular in the fall and you have a lot of blended soups like pumpkin or split pea, it has the right consistency and density and you can put it in a bowl, garnish it, can soup, number eight, add it to your list, put it in your portfolio. Number nine, toasts and flatbreads. I love a good avocado toast. You can really decorate and go all out with flatbreads. The sky's the limit, so have fun. Number 10, yogurt. Yogurt is great. Greek yogurt specifically. You can make beautiful parfaits, do layers. It can also be garnished with fruit and granola. Yogurt, I love using yogurt in my portfolio. 
added to yours. If you enjoyed what you saw, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and be sure to be notified every single time I post a video. Also, follow me on Instagram at The Key Ingredient. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Until then, take care.